Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. In the episode we're talking about games. If you're a Windows gamer, and the reason you're not switching to Linux is just that, well, you might be in for a surprise. Now I can't guarantee that Linux will run all your Windows only games, but it should run most of them these days. Giant leaps have been made over the years to make more games to run especially since the Steam platform started focusing on getting them running on their own Linux-based platforms. There are also several videos on YouTube showing comparisons of running a game on the same hardware on Windows and then on Linux. They show the games running on Linux will run between 4 to 10% faster than Windows, which Scott finds quite amusing. Now, there are native Linux games available. We had a quick look in the last episode, so let's dive a little deeper. First of all, there's the Steam client itself. So there's a good chance if you have bought games on there that they will run on Linux using Steam's Proton software. You can install that from the software manager with a few clicks. This game, Magnetist, seems quite popular. It's a free open source version of Minecraft, but with a lot more content, and you can install mods directly from the game. OpenTTD is another of Scott's favorites. It's a free version of Transport Tycoon from the 1990s. There are many other native Linux games you can install using the software manager, including Lutris. Lutris is a sort of Game playing platform where you can install and run not only your Windows games, but games from other platforms, such as old gaming consoles, including PlayStation 3 games. We'll just switch over to Scott's PC to show you what it looks like and a little tip to get things working. So, this is what Lutris looks like. Scott has added several Windows only games and they all run just fine. However, there was one thing he had to change to get them all working. The default settings may work fine for you, but if you find the game doesn't start out, try this. Right click on the game and choose configure. Click on runner options at the top. Then you'll see the version of Wine that it will be using. I haven't mentioned Wine yet. You can actually run these games just using Wine. It's not an emulator, but a software layer to sort of simulate Windows without actually running Windows. Anyway, the default setting here is to use Lutris Proton, which may work for you. But not for Scott. So he set all these games to use Whatever the latest wine staging is installed, and the games now run just fine. So I hope that helps you get your Windows games up and running on Linux too. Linux has no problem with game controllers either. Scott uses a PlayStation 3 controller that he got off eBay. There's no driver to download and install. You just plug it in using a USB cable and it works right away. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with more Linux goodness.